Hi there, Middle Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Mary Mays, and I wanted to pop on here and give you a midday update. It's already storming. We've had, you know, a few thunderstorms rolling through, but so far, even though it's a little more active than what we expected at this point of the day, things haven't been too bad. However, there is the chance for more storms to start to form, and those do bring that threat of damaging winds, hail, and even tornadoes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I am sharing my screen, and what you can see right now is our tornado watch. This goes through 3 o'clock this afternoon, and this is something that's been in place for about an hour or so. And uh, what we're going to see is damaging winds being the primary concern with these storms. But, you know, any storms that kind of get off on their own and uh, are what we call, you know, discrete. So they, you know, are by themselves and they're able to tap into all the energy in the environment. Those are the storms that really have the biggest threat of tornadoes. Is it a possibility today? Absolutely, we could have tornadoes. However, I want you to stay calm and I want you to understand that you can make sure you have alerts so you're aware of what's going on. Your phone will alert you, but it doesn't hurt to have a NOAA weather radio as well on hand. And also just keep an eye on things through the afternoon, even into the early evening. I think all of this should be out of our hair by about 10, 11 o'clock. And the flooding threat is there as well, but it's quite low. However, some of these heavy downpours could lead to some localized flooding. That's often an issue, especially if you're in a spot where, you know, the storm drains get clogged, that sort of thing. Uh, just have your plans in place and be ready to go to your safe spot if you need to. Let's take a look at the HRRR, and uh, this is kind of a current look of what's going on. And the model has uh, handled this pretty well. So this is, you know, for about right now, this is what it was expecting is some kind of messy convection, and that's what we're seeing. And then you still get a little bit more, but as we head into 3, 4, 5 o'clock there, you see things start to really ramp up again. And that's the concern is that we'll have this secondary round of storms that moves in, and these would likely be the ones that produce that severe weather. Is it a guarantee? No, but it's a possibility that we start to see more action later this afternoon into the early evening. And that's really what I'm concerned with. And, you know, my hope is that this kind of peters out isn't as impressive as we were expecting, but you have to prepare for what could happen. And what could happen is this is more impressive than we might even expect. And there is the threat for tornadoes. We're gonna have some spin with these. We got some wind shear. We've got the energy. We've got all the ingredients we need for severe weather to be possible. However, possible doesn't mean inevitable. So prepare for the worst, hope for the best, is what I always say. And, you know, I just wanna make sure that you're aware of the risks. So this continues, this is about six o'clock and you start to see these storms really moving toward the plateau at this point. And, you know, you can easily pick up a couple inches of rain today. That's definitely possible. But the flooding threat, since these are gonna be moving relatively quickly, should be on the lower end. Now I'm gonna actually switch this over back to a, a previous model run so we could take a closer look at what happens uh, later on into tomorrow. And you'll see by about, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, we're good. Uh, but we will see some more showers throughout the day tomorrow. They're gonna be scattered and it's gonna be much cooler and windier behind this system. Before we talk about what happens tomorrow, which you know we just got a little sneak peek with the rain, what I do wanna talk about is today's threats and we're under an enhanced risk. That's level three out of five of severe storms. And I know that might sound concerning, this is pretty much all in Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. The the biggest threat actually for severe weather is, you know, Northern Kentucky up into Ohio. Uh, for us here, we've got a pretty good risk. And this actually extends further south. If you're driving to Atlanta, to Birmingham, you're under the same risk level. But I think damaging wind certainly going to be a big concern. You know, hail is possible, including big hail that can on your windshield. If you have access to covered parking, take advantage of it right now if you can. And tornadoes, I know that's always the big concern uh, because we've had so many and it's an issue and a lot of folks have anxiety about that. And I just want to kind of give you a look at what the Storm Prediction Center has uh, highlighted in terms of our risk level. And we are under a hatched risk under a 10%. And you see that here in that yellow, it's 10 to 14% that you could see a tornado within 25 miles of a point. So let's say we're in Nashville, there's a 10% chance within 25 miles of your location that you could see a tornado. Now that might sound a little scary, but 
it is something to keep in mind. This is why we've been telling you to, you know, keep your phones charged. Make sure you have a way to get warnings. Multiple ways is ideal. Um, and there is the chance, you know, you see those hash marks that indicates the possibility of a strong tornado, and that's a tornado EF2 or greater. Um, and, you know, the further north you head, you see that red shading there. Uh, that indicates uh, the chance for some long track tornadoes as well. So we can have strong tornadoes that stay on the ground for a little longer. The chances are better further north of us, but we still have a pretty good chance here in Middle Tennessee. However, it's not a guarantee, but it's definitely a possibility. So please make sure you're staying alert and that you are heading to your safe space. And, you know, now's the time to clean it out. Make sure you have shoes on when these storms are rolling over. You know, make sure you're able to just get down to your safe spot. And if the worst happens, you're prepared, have plans to, you know, meet up with your family after. And, you know, just make sure you're dressed properly for this weather, because if, you know, unfortunately it does happen. And if your home is hit, it's a lot easier to get out and get through debris if you have proper shoes on and, you know, you'll want a coat, jacket, that sort of thing. Having that stuff with you in your safe space it makes a huge difference. And that's something that tornado survivors have, have told me before. So um, that's something to keep in mind. I don't want to scare you because, you know, even if we do have tornadoes, the chances of them hitting your particular house are pretty darn low. However, it does happen on occasion. And we want to make sure that for the folks that it does happen to, you know what's ahead and you know what your risk is and you're ready for it. So that's our tornado outlook. Also important is the severe wind outlook. And we're under a pretty good chance, 30 to 44 percent of seeing severe wind gusts within, you know, 25 miles of your spot. So th this could easily knock down a tree. If you got an old tree near your house, do not stay in the room right next to it. And if a storm is rolling through, the winds are going to be gusty enough that you don't want to be outside in that either. And hail. We could see some large hail. Uh, I think the threat for large hail is going to be a little further north. Uh, in terms of, you know, really, really, really giant hailstones. But we could see stones that damage your car, leave dents, you know, potentially leave some windshield damage. So if you have covered parking, not going to hurt to put your car in there. So let's talk about what happens after the system moves through. And I'm going to rewind here. You can see we've been pretty warm today and expected to stay in the 70s through this afternoon. But watch what happens after this cold front moves through. And this is the front that's, you know, really sparking off these storms later today. This is 9, 10 o'clock. Notice we're dipping into the 50s pretty quickly. You got 40s there up in Clarksville. And then, you know, tomorrow morning, we're all in the 40s. And we don't really warm up much of the day. We're going to be in the 50s. It is just going to be kind of cool and gloomy and windy. A little bit of rain tomorrow. Very dreary day. So yeah, tomorrow, not the best. And we keep these temperatures down actually for a few days behind this system. Notice tomorrow morning, mid 40s. We even see 30s on Friday morning and high stay in the 50s through Friday as well. If you're looking at the weekend though, things start to improve back into the 60s by Saturday. 70s return on Sunday. So that's going to feel fantastic by the weekend. But the rest of the week, you definitely want to grab the sweaters, jackets, if you still have them out. So uh, bottom line, stay safe today. Um, make sure that you have ways to get warnings and, you know, just pay attention to what's going on and do your due diligence. Make sure you're paying attention. And there's only so many ways I can say that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later.